people like things nice and simple, right? Like the convenience of being able to pay or be paid for goods and services provided over the internet. But what if you don't have a bank account? That would mean a majority of the people in the world not having access to easier and safer transactions. But guess what? Some 1.7 billion of these people do have access to a mobile phone. So how can that help them avoid the risk, cost and inconvenience of using cash? Well, that's where M-Commerce comes in. M-Commerce enables people to conduct financial transactions using a mobile device like a cell phone or a tablet. The phone becomes a kind of a mobile wallet, but it's not just for pocket money. It can give you access to bank accounts, credit and access cards, loyalty cards, coupons, and it allows you to transfer money anytime, anywhere. So this means a world of new services for just about everyone, from those that don't have a bank account to those that do but would like the freedom to take their finances truly mobile. The Ericsson Wallet platform, for example, enables secure and convenient mobile financial services such as money transfers and making payments. And using Ericsson Converged Wallet, there are 1.7 billion mobile accounts connected to Ericsson's charging system that could easily be turned into mobile wallets. 2012 meant a big step for M Commerce as Ericsson and Western Union formed a strategic alliance. Mobile network operators can now offer their subscribers the world's largest money transfer network. And we're talking a lot of money. $350 billion are transferred annually, person to person, over mobile devices. And the ecosystem to support M Commerce is growing rapidly. Ericsson's M-Commerce Interconnect is a technology that will allow interoperability between operators and service providers, such as banks, stores and payment networks. So, it's exciting times for the M-Commerce industry, which is expected to process more than 800 billion US dollars by 2016. And with a world of 50 billion connected devices expected by 2020, the implications and possibilities for how we manage and use our money are profound.